Enigma to Chromis Leucanusi, or the Leucanusi cichlid, or maybe the Pelvic Chromis species bluefin, they might be called. However, they are called, they are all one fish, and they only come from one special place in Africa. They were discovered by a man named Oliver Lucanus. Not sure what year, I could not find that. The location of these cichlids is not what you think. It's not the Rift Lakes, it's not the Congo, but it's called the Photo River near a mining town in Fria Guinea. And it's a very small river, ranging three meters, six meters wide, depending. Water parameters for these cichlids should include uh, soft, soft water. Where they were found, they tested it at 5.8, at 0 GH and 0 KH. And that's really, really soft. Lucky for me, my pH comes out 6 out the tap, and very low GH and KH. Temperatures for these fish uh, were 24 degrees Celsius or 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit. So depending on where you live, you could keep them in an unheated aquarium and that makes them very hardy for the home aquarium. They also don't get very big, maxing around 4.5 centimeters, I believe. These are still young juveniles. They have not sexed out yet, but they will soon. The diet of these cichlids should include a high protein diet with some greens mixed in here and there. In the wild they'll eat insects, microorganisms, plant matter. This is a bonded pair of the Leucanusi cichlids. You can see that the males are much larger than the females and the females have that bright pink belly and the blue fin. Females have striking amounts of color, usually more intense uh, when they are in breeding mode. And the males do have subtle coloration and very nice patterns. As you can see, they have yellow and blue on the cheek area and nice spots on the back. And this is a photo by Oliver Lucanus where he collected these fish. This is the photo river. As you can see, there's lots of timber, plants, and lots of flow. And so I try to mimic that in my aquarium. Some of the plants that were found in the Photo River included Anubius longifolia, I believe, and Bobitis and I believe there might have been other crinum plants that I could see in the picture as well. I believe it's there there are three species of crinum plants that I know of. The crinum natans, crinum calamistratum, and there's one more I forget the name that has the smoother leaves, and I believe it is that crinum. They are a cave spawner. The male and female will become a pair, a lifelong pair. And they will find a cave, breed in that cave, and raise the fry in that cave. Both the parents will raise the fry, but from what I've read, the female will, will take most of the work. I have flower pot caves. I broke the flower pots in half 
and I put some slate stone on some ends, and that's their cave. It's a very cheap, effective way. Alright, so let's talk about how I'm keeping them in my aquarium. This is a 29 gallon with black diamond blasting sand as a substrate. I have two HOB filters, both on either end, creating large amounts of flow. There is a heater in the tank because even though it is summertime where I am in the northwest, the nighttime does drop still to around 63, 61 degrees Fahrenheit. And where they are located in my house is probably not the best location. It is a sunroom, and if there was not a heater in the tank, the temperatures would probably drop. I really hope that you learn something from this video and everything that I've been talking about will be posted below. All the pictures in this video were not mine, they were taken by somebody else. I will do my best to put where credit is due to the people who have done the actual research. You guys have a great day and never stop learning.